Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 9,000 mile 2006 Forest River Sunseeker model 2900. It's a 29 foot Class C. It rides on an E450 Ford chassis and it actually has a Ford Power Stroke diesel motor, um, which is very rare for a Class C. Um, so we're gonna take, take you around today and give you a tour of the coach. We'll start up front. Now up front it looks sort of like, that's the thing of a Class C, it's sort of like driving a van in the front and you have um, doors just like a van as well, so you can easily jump in and out of it. This is for the passenger and driver side. Now it also has, it comes equipped with a little, uh, this is for towing for like a, for trail brakes, so you can calibrate your trail brakes. It also has an auxiliary start button right there. The decals are a little faded. Um, you can see them all around the coach, it's been like, these decals are pretty common. It's a, uh, let's see, 13-year-old coach, so the sun just tears up those decals. But for the most part, the body looks pretty good. Up here, there's not too, there's actually no delamination. Now about, I'd say, before I'd say 95%, but now that we keep mostly clean coaches in our stock, I'd say 80% of Class C's have delam and water trouble up in this front area in the front cap. But this one looks excellent. There's no delam whatsoever. Front glass looks really good. No cracks or star chips. The front of the coach looks pretty nice too. Hasn't been beat up by rocks. I mean, it's only got 9,000 miles, so really too much damage couldn't have happened in its lifetime. Now right here, this should be our generator, and it is. This is a 3600 micro, micro quiet Onan generator. It's propane. Let's shut this here. Now it has a propane tank on the other side, but it looks like previous owners took out and made this a, uh, a massive propane tank here instead of a storage compartment. This is pretty nice. This is what you'd get on like a large diesel coach. It looks to be uh, 29.3 gallons. So not only do you have the original propane tank on the other side, which is about half the size, you have a massive propane tank here as well. So once you fuel up the propane, you'll be good to run your generator for a very long time. Now the decal is a little faded. Um, this is common, it's a 13 year old coach, so the sun will beat, beat them up a little bit. You can see some cracks in the sun seeker decals as well. Um, purely cosmetic, and you can always repl replace these decals. It's pretty cheap to, I mean, under a thousand dollars, pretty cheap to replace the decals, and it'll make it look brand new. Now this coach, here's your tag, um, not tag axle, I'll take that back. Here's your dually, your rear driver's side dually. Now this coach has the Firestone tires all the way around and the date code on those tires is the 29th week of 2018, which means these tires may have been put in and probably were put in um, late 2018, um, early 2019. And being 9,000 miles, the tires are in perfect or are like new condition. Right here is your fuel fill up. You also have an outside shower right here. So that's pretty nice, especially at the beach, you can rinse your feet off, or especially good if you have pets, you can rinse and clean and wash your dog, which is really nice. You can also wash your cat, but I doubt they'll like that. And here you have your, um, let's see, I did the wrong one, twice. This is where you uh, dump your tanks. You can also replace, you see your sensors for your tanks too, so it's easy access to your sensors. So if they ever go bad, which if you don't properly treat your tanks, they will go bad, you can easily replace them. But as long as you properly treat them, they won't go bad. Right here is your city pressure uh, connection. So when you're at a camp spot, you just plug in your hose and turn off your pump and you run off city pressure. Now this is a bunk coach. So it's got four bunk beds in the back and each bunk has its own window. So over here you have two and on the other side we'll see two more. Now this is a 30 amp coach, so right here are a bunch of hoses and, and uh, your 30 amp power plug as well, and it's a pass through storage compartment. So it's a huge amount of storage back here. I'm not sure, I, I'm sure you could probably fit a small canoe in here, or actually maybe even a normal size canoe inside the coach. Let's come around back. Back of the coach looks pretty good. This is where you fill up your water tank. 
So over there, we saw a city water pressure. That's to uh, run off city pressure when you're at your camp spot. Now, right here is where you fill up your water tank. So put the cap back on it. See the sun seeker? There's some cracks in it, just like on the other decals. Again, pretty cheap to replace all the decals if you wanted to make it look very new again. Let's take a look at the wall. No delamination whatsoever. Right here, this is the other side of the pass-through storage. You've got a nice hitch. Now, if you don't want these accessories, we can easily take them out. Um, but if you want them, they stay with the coach. You've got some extra accessories. Ooh, this is nice. Rhino. Okay, this is uh, RV holding tape treatment. That's very nice. Um, so that's to treat the, uh, the tanks before you start using them, the black tank. Right here, you have some storage. And... Right here are your batteries. This should, these are your, uh, your coach batteries, and they're on a slide, too. It's pretty nice. You don't see slides very often on Class C coaches. And the date codes on these batteries are 5 of 16 and 6 of 16. The batteries are good. No problems, no trouble. Check out this. It's got a massive awning. Massive in, relative to the size of the coach. Excellent condition. Normally you see tears. If you're going to see problems, they're going to be on this edge right here, and it's showing no signs of tearing or wearing whatsoever. Awning is in great shape. Now the decals on this side are in a little better condition, so I'm assuming the sun hit it more on that side, but again, cracking a little bit here. <coughs> now here we've got a dent. You can see there's a dent in this compartment. It's about, goes from here to about there. Carpet works just fine, purely cosmetic. Now here we've got more batteries. And this may be for the, uh, the chassis side, but I'm not sure exactly. They should actually be for the coach side. So this, I think this coach has four coach batteries. I'll look in the front and see if there's a battery for the engine separately. That's pretty nice. Normally in these Class C's you only have two coach batteries. But this one looks like it has four. Now this is your original propane tank that I was talking about earlier. Let's see the size. 24.5 gallons. So that is not half the size. That's a big tank. So you've got a lot of propane uh, storage in this coach. Right here is your passenger side door. Again, super nice to be able to jump in and out and not walk through the coach to, if you stop at a fuel station or just to take a break from driving, really nice to be able to jump in and out of the coach. It feels like a car cabin up in the front. Come around this side. I'm going to open the hood real quick. We'll check out that engine. looks really clean. Again, only 9,000 miles, so I'd expect it to look this clean. And let's see. Yeah, looks very clean. Again, this is a Power Stroke diesel engine. Now, while we're up front here and got it open, I'm going to fire it up so you can take a listen to the motor. It sounds really good. And I'm reading the, uh, the the odometer, it says 9,029.5 miles. Can you believe that? This thing is like new. I mean, for a diesel engine, it's not even broken. So here, I'm gonna give it a turn. Walk around back, right in the front of it. Motor sounds really good. I'll just stop talking for a second so you can listen. Excellent sounding motor. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. It's good to see it clean up here because that's normally an easy sign of, to tell how well it's been maintained. I don't think our detail crews hit it. And to be completely transparent, a detail crew may have hit it at some point. Um, but the engine bay looks really clean, and that's a good sign. Again, check out the front. No delamination. A lot of times on Class C's, these seals go bad because people forget to seal them. They'll seal the roof. And solid under here, no DLAM. Again, here, solid, no DLAM. 
This is a very clean coach. All right, come on, let's take a step inside of it. All right, before we walk in, I forgot to cover this. This, this is pretty important. You've got outside power, um, so this is really nice, especially for tailgating or whatever you'd like. You can plug in your devices, plug in a TV out here. Um, so this is nice to have. Um, now, let's jump in the coach. All right, now that we're inside this coach, let's take a look at the upholstery first. The upholstery is in very good condition. There's no wearing anywhere on any of the couches or seats. Um, the upholstery is in good shape. Now, this dinette turns into a bed, and you've got cup holders in it as well. This right here jackknifes and turns into a larger um, sleeping surface, and these pieces come out as well. Up here, you have your above cab um, sleeping bed. All you do is fold this over, and you've got a pretty good size. I'd call this maybe a full, maybe a little bigger than, well, actually, probably about a full size bed. Um, so, this coach sleeps a lot of people, I and mean, you can sleep one very comfortably one comfortably maybe even two definitely two up here and then four in the back so that's a lot of people you can sleep in this coach now let's take a look at the kitchen area in the kitchen we've got a dual stainless sink there's a little piece that covers one side it gives you a little more area to, of uh, counter space you've got a three burner gas stove it looks brand new super clean Oh, you get a little light here too. Up here you've got your microwave. And down here you have an oven. You don't see that very often anymore. It's got a classic oven in it. And yes, I'm calling it classic. <laughs> Over here you've got your refrigerator. Now this refrigerator runs off of either propane or electric. Pretty spacious. It's a single stack refrigerator. Step back here. Now you've got a partition that separates the back of the coach, which includes the bed, uh, the the bunks. I almost said beds. There are four beds and the shower and bathroom area. You've also got a separator right here that separates the bathroom and the front of the coach from the bunks in the back. So if you have kids, you can have them go to sleep and they can be separated and be in private. Back here, you've got a shower. It's a pretty tall shower. You've got some uh, space over here to put soap. This coach in general is pretty tall inside. Um, as you can see, I mean, I'm about a 5'11", and I've got a good, I can't tell, maybe it's a, it's a foot, foot and a half um, of space. So this is a pretty tall coach. Right here, you've got your toilet area. And you've also got a sink in here. Now, there's a lot of cabinet space throughout this coach. So plenty of space to store your stuff, especially for the amount of people that you can have in this coach. I mean, you could sleep eight in here if you wanted to, maybe even more if you had a lot of kids. You could sleep a lot of children in here if you have a big family. Now back here you have your four bunk beds, one, two, three, four. Each one has their own window along with shades. Here you've got a pretty big wardrobe. Along with drawers down here, you've got more space right here. And another cabinet here, and it's identical on the other side. So plenty of space. They really thought about it because you're going to be sleeping a lot of people. You're going to want to have a lot of storage, and this coach provides that. Now, I want to talk about the cockpit area before we get on the road. Now, again, I want to just, before we talk about the cockpit, the, the condition of the interior is beautiful. And besides the front area, this is carpet. This is all linoleum, um, which means it's very easy to keep clean. Um, and especially if you're at the beach, you're in and out of the coach, you can just quickly sweep it out. It's very nice to have that surface instead of carpet. Now, up in the front, we do have carpet, but that's not a big deal. This is just like car carpet. Now, in the cockpit, you have your radio right here. Um, AC blows ice cold. Um, you've got max AC, just a basic Ford layout up here. Plenty of vents. You've got your brakes thing. You've got an auxiliary start button right here. Emergency brake. You've got cruise control on the steering wheel, which I like. You can keep your hands on the steering wheel and still steer and set your cruise. <coughs> so that's very nice. 
Anyways, um, check out the view, by the way. It feels like a van when you're up in here. So if you're, for, if you're new to coaches, it's very easy to drive. You get in here and you feel comfortable. That's the biggest thing about driving a coach is most people get scared when they get in, and there's really nothing to be scared about. All you have to do is take corners a little wider, and just remember you're a little wider than a normal car. Um, but when you're in this thing, it feels very comfortable and nice, but you're still aware of how wide you are. Anyways, let's take this thing out on the road, and uh, I'm going to give it a review and give you my feedback on how it drives. It should drive very nice considering how low miles it has. All right, we're getting on the road now with this coach, and I'm just going to accelerate. This is probably about, let's see, 50% throttle, and we're going uphill, and it's just no problem for this coach. I mean, it's got a diesel, and it's a Power Stroke turbo, di turbo Diesel from Ford. It runs great. And it's got more than enough power for this little Class C. So we're at 60 miles an hour now. Approaching 65. We're still going up a hill. No problem for this coach. Now it drives like a van. As far as how the driving experience is, it drives like a heavier, heavier more set van. You know how vans they can sometimes feel a little floaty? This one feels like a van without the floatiness. So we're gonna turn this on. There's cruise control set at 68 miles an hour. If you can hear that, there's a little rattling in the background. Um, that's just the cover for the gas stove. All you need to do is take a little piece of foam and stick it under there and it kills that sound. But besides that noise, it's pretty good. It drives excellently. Dead straight. No pools right or left. This coaster is really good. I mean, it's only got 9,000 miles on it. So, really low miles. I'm passing a Mustang. <laughs> Although with this diesel, I probably make way more torque than that Mustang does. Anyways, great driving. Oh, he passed me. He couldn't take it. He couldn't take it passed by an RV. <laughs> Anyways, this thing drives great. Great perspective, very simple. So if you're afraid of driving, don't be. This coach will comfort you. It feels like a van. And once you get on the highway, it's a piece of cake. Anyways, that'll conclude the video for this coach. Um, I forgot to mention the, the generator only has 266 hours on it. Super low hours. Anyways, this is a great coach. It sleeps a lot of people. It's got tall ceilings, great diesel motor, which means you can tow a lot if you want to. Only 9,000 miles. It's hard to believe. 13 years old with only 9,000 miles. I mean, this thing has been baby. It's barely been driven. It's not even broken in. It drives great, too. No DLAM on the main areas Class C's have. This is a solid, clean coach, and it's ready to hit the road. Anyways, if you'd like to schedule an appointment to come take a look at it or you need any more information, I can also FaceTime and Skype you and walk you around the coach if you want a little more personal look at the coach without having to drive. Call me or text me at 864-376-5600. And um, I urge you to call because coaches like these will not last very long. Class C's in general don't last very long. They sell fast. And especially something like this, um, we're not going to have very, very long. So thank you for watching, and I hope you continue to watch our videos, and have a great day.